we as a humanity are connected. We are not separate, but we are connected. And when we, when an individual transforms, that individual's transformation is impacting the collective. So today, uh, science speaks about how we are all one field of consciousness. Actually, even in the physical world, we are all connected. Uh, matter and energy, they are not separate, they are connected. In the same way, our consciousness is connected to the entire humanity's consciousness. So our vision is to bring about this individual transformation where an individual is able to live in these states, in these great enlightened states of great compassion and great oneness. Science and technology has given human beings uh, things to live with. Science and technology has not given human beings what to live for. Okay? So today if you take it, uh, if you look at all the youth, youngsters and everybody, we have got lots of things to live with. We have gadgets, we have watches, we have shoes, we have different kinds of clothing, homes, cars, everything. But the biggest question is, with all this, what am I living for? Now, the purpose. The purpose. Now, that question can only be answered by a spiritual awakening. Only when you awaken in your inner world, can you actually discover what are you living for? Even unfortunately today, human relationships, it's about whom do I want to live with? It's not about who do I, what do I want to live for in this relationship? It's about, no? So, so science and technology is giving the answer for the external which is to live with things but it can never give you an answer for live for live for there is nothing like forgiveness okay uh, forgiveness is just an ideal and it doesn't work if forgiveness is uh, such a great uh, successful concept then uh, the whole world must be a better world so i hurt you you hurt me and we each say okay we forgive each other and walk off but it's not happening we are holding on to our hurts and we are taking time to you know, teach the other person a lesson. So forgiveness is not happening. What needs to happen is a healing. A healing has to happen. So when a person is hurt, that person must heal from that hurt. Only after healing from that hurt, forgiveness is something that's automatic. Everyone is focused on uh, how much of property shall I leave behind for my child, or what kind of position or power, what should I leave behind physically for my child. But the most important thing that you need to leave behind for your next generation is a state. It's a beautiful state. It's a state of great compassion and oneness. Very well said, very profound. Uh, thank you very much, Sri Krishna Ji.